Dear colleagues, the topic of presentation is influence of the porosity on the unexual compressive strength of sandstone samples. In the slide you can see the outline of the presentation. A short introduction is provided, experimental results, boundary value problem formulation results, and drawn conclusions. Study of failure of sandstone samples remains important for solving particular engineering problems because it is often found in several engineering fields such as production of oil and gas, coal and other natural resources. In the slide you can see an outline of the Kuznets coal basin and a typical borehole log. It can be seen that sandstone is often met as the component of the roof of several coal seams. Figure 2 illustrates the dependence of uniaxial compressive strengths on porosity for more than 100 sandstone samples collected at different deposits of the Kuznets coal basin. The uniaxial compressive strength is one of the most important parameters of rocks and is used in different engineering calculations. Thus, it is important to construct adequate mathematical models which help to evaluate uniaxial compressive strengths and describe the features of deformation and failure. Regarding the stages of uniaxial compression test, complete stress-strain curve might be divided into several parts as illustrated in Figure 3. In this work, we apply the model based on the circumscribed drucker prager criterion with non-associated flow rule to describe an inelastic constitutive response of loaded samples. The model is coupled with continuous damage mechanics approach to describe the softening of material. The damage parameter D kinetic equation is given by equation 7a. The softening law is expressed by equation 7b. The pores are distributed in the computational domain by the pseudo-random number generator with an assumption of spherical pores and pore side distribution illustrated in the left part of figure. Boundary conditions are also provided in the slide. Loading diagrams obtained by numerical simulation are illustrated in Figure 5 for samples with porosity right in the range of approximately 5 to 25 percent. It can be concluded that the higher the porosity, the lower the UACS of sample. Comparison of obtained results with experimental data finds a fairly satisfactory agreement, although it can be seen that at porosity exceeding 15 percent, the model overestimated the strengths of samples. Simulated acoustic emission is illustrated in Figure 7. Regarding the problem of evaluation of a threshold stresses, the following results are obtained. The ratio between the crack initiation stress and peak stress is approximately 0.25, and the ratio between the crack damage stress and peak stress is approximately 0.84. Both these ratios find a satisfactory agreement with experimental data reported elsewhere. Model applied finds a satisfactory agreement with experimental observations reported elsewhere by Martin and Chandler and Hoek and Martin and also by al -Hawatinka. Although the model overestimates the strengths of samples at porosity exceeding 15%, misfit between the numerical modeling and experimental data might be explained by general complexity of a considered problem and also by a set of assumptions made. Sphericity of pores, disregarding of all textural features but porosity. It can be also concluded that the model applied describes fairly satisfactory the failure of sandstone samples. It is applicable to an evaluation of threshold stresses which pay a crucial role for solving specific engineering problems.